Hi again, guys. All right, so now we're going to do some math. So just get your math book ready. Don't open it to any pages because I'm going to review a little bit um, of some fractions that we'll need to know and remember for today. Okay, so just look here. And oh, let me open my marker first. Okay. All right, so you may remember um, doing these in class together. So one sixth of 18. So remember what we did first. So we went from 18, we divided by our denominator. So 18 divided by six equals three, good job. Then we multiplied by our numerator. So three times one equals three, good job. Oh, that's a pretty sloppy three. Okay. All right. One fourth of 12. So if I have 12 things and I want to know how many one fourth is, I go 12 divided by four equals three. Three times one equals three. Okay. Okay. Let's do one fifth of 20. I hope you're remembering this stuff. So one fifth of 20. So one, So that means I have 20 things and I wanna know what one fifth of them are. How many is in one fifth? So I do 20 divided by five. Good, four, good job. Now you don't have to write that four over there but if it helps you, go ahead. Four times one is four. Then if I have one third of nine, so I have nine objects, I wanna know how many one third is. So nine divided by three, good job. Three times one, three, okay? All right, so that's a review. Now today, we're going to kind of work back, well, not really, a little bit of backwards. We're gonna know our fraction and we're gonna know our answer. We gotta figure out how much of something is. Okay, so we need to know the total amount of something. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, all right. So while I'm erasing my board, I want you to open up your books to page 493. 493. So 493. Okay, all right. So this is what your page should look like. Okay, everybody should have this page. And I want you to put a big X on this part, okay? Because this part, when we if we do this, would be so confusing. I'm gonna show you an easier way to do it. So X out this. We're going to read this problem and I'm gonna show you on my board how to do it, okay? All right, so Cameron has four clown fish in his fish tank. One third of the fish in the tank are clownfish. How many fish does Cameron have in his tank? So now I know that one third of his fish are clownfish, and I know that he has four that are clownfish. I need to know how many total fish are in his tank. So I'm going to write it out like this. Now on your book, okay, right here above the fish, is some space you can do it there, okay? So I want you to write what I'm writing on my board on your page above your fish, okay? So what was our fraction? Our fraction was one third of, we don't know how many, equals four, okay? So this is what your, your problem is going to be. Now, remember what we talked about. To solve these problems, you would take this number, Divide it by three and then times it by four, or sorry, times it by one <laughs> to get four, okay? So these might be really easy. So think to yourself, if I have this number, now this is gonna only work if you have a numerator of one, okay? So this is a very important number right here. If it's one, you can do it this way. If it's two, there's a different process, okay? So since this is a one, we're gonna do it this way. All right, so I gotta think, okay, what? divided by three is going to give me four. 
because I already know I'm going to times by one and I don't, I don't really have to think about my next step um, because multiplying by one is always going to give you your other number. All right, so what divided by three equals four? Or think four times three equals 12. So 12 is our answer, okay? So he has 12 fish in his tank, okay? All right, so see how easy that is when we remember how to do those types of problems? All right, and remember, that only works if you have a numerator of one, and they're not going any um, higher for you guys. All right, now turn to page 494. 494, this page over here, okay? So cross out all of this. We're just going to do the problem at the top. And I want you to see where the bunnies are. See this space here? I want you to write your answer in that space, okay? So write what I write on my board in that space there. So a pet store has two gray rabbits. One-eighth of the rabbits at the pet store are gray. How many rabbits does the pet store have? All right, so same thing. Ooh. We have to look at our fraction. What's our fraction? One-eighth. Okay, so one-eighth of the rabbits in the pet store are gray, okay? There are two gray rabbits, but we don't know how many total pets there, there are, how many total rabbits they have in the pet store. So one-eighth of something is going to equal two, all right? So blank divided by eight equals, remember I have a one here so I can do it this way, so think. I got to have something that equals 2. What divided by 8 equals 2? Or do 2 times 8 equals 16? Okay, so 16 rabbits in his pet store. Okay? All right. Now, let's go to page 495. And I want you to, um, we're going to keep, we're going to do number one, but cross off all this stuff. We're not going to do number two. So cross off from here down to number two. Okay, so we're going to do one, three, and four on this page. Okay, so one, three, and four. All right, so number one. Uh, Lily has three dog toys that are red. One fourth of all her dog toys are red. How many dog toys does she have? So I need to know the total of how many um, dog to toys she has, not just the red ones. I want to know all of them, okay? I know that there are three red ones, and I know that that is one-fourth of the total amount of pet of uh, dog toys, okay? So I'm going to write one-fourth of something equals three. I got to work on putting this board somewhere here. I need to stand or something. All right, so blank divided by four equals three. Since I have my one here, I can do this this way. So blank divided by four equals three. 12, excellent. So 12 dog toys. Ooh, that was a bad T. 12 dog toys. Okay. All right. So that should be written at the top there. All right. Now we're going to jump down to number three. Jump down to number three. Number three says the pet store sells bags of pet food. There are four bags of cat food. One sixth of the bags of food are cat food. How many bags of pet food does the store have? So, I know there are four bags of um, cat food, and then one-sixth of that is the, is the four bags, okay? So, one-sixth of the bags of food are the cat's food. So, there's my fraction. One-sixth of blank equals four, yes, equals four, okay? So, now... We need to do one-sixth of something equals four. 
So remember, when you do these, if the one, if there's a one here and there is a one, okay, so I'm going to say what divided by six equals four. So what divided by six equals four. Think four times six equals what? 24. Good job. So 24. And what's our label? How many ba bags? Oh, bags, not bogs. Bags of pet food. So they have a total of 24 bags of pet food. Four of those bags are cat food. Okay? So four of those bags are cat food. The rest of them are other pet food bags. Okay? All right. And then number four. Rachel owns two parakeets. One-fourth of all her birds are parakeets. How many birds does Rachel own? All right, so I know she has two parakeets. I know that number two is one-fourth of all of her birds. I need to know how many total birds she has. All right, so let me erase this. And on your line, what is the fraction? One-fourth, good of, we don't know, we don't know the total of, of birds she has, but I know she has two parakeets, okay? So, blank divided by four equals two. So think, two times four, eight. Good job, so she has eight birds. So, oops, eight total birds, okay? All right, eight birds. So one-fourth of the eight is two. So two parakeets. The rest of our birds are other types of birds. We don't know what kind they are, but we know they're not parakeets. Okay? All right, so that's that. And let's go to page 497. So this is what I would give you for homework. But I'm going to work through some of these problems with you, and I'll give you some to work on your own, and then we'll go over them tomorrow. Okay, at least that's the plan. All right, so let's go to number, well, I'll go over number one with you because they just told you the answer. They didn't really do any problems for you. So Katrina has two blue ribbons for her hair. One fourth of all her ribbons are blue. How many ribbons does Katrina have in all? All right, so we know she has two blue ribbons. We know that those two blue ribbons are one-fourth of her total ribbons. We need to know how many total ribbons that she has. You know what? I'm going to use the little one this time. That might work out better until I figure out how to get that black or big one to stand up. All right. So find your fraction. One-fourth of blank equals two. So one-fourth of blank equals two. So what divided by four equals two? Eight. So eight ribbons. All right, let's go to number two. I'm going to do a couple of these with you, and then I'm going to have you do them on your own, and then we'll check them tomorrow for um, when we start our math uh, video. Number two, one-eighth of Tony's books are mystery books. He has three mystery books. How many books does Tony have in all? Okay, so... I know he has three mystery books, and I know that means that that's one-eighth of all of his books. So one-eighth of something equals three. I almost looked at the wrong one. So one-eighth of something equals three. All right, so what divided by eight equals three? Or think three times what equals 24. So your answer is 24, and then look here. How many books does he have? Books, so 24 books is your answer. Make sure you're showing me this part and then also writing this part. All right, all right, on to number three. Brianna has four pink bracelets. One third of all her bracelets are pink. How many bracelets does Brianna have? All right, so we know she has four pink bracelets, and we know that that four pink bracelets is one-third of all of her bracelets. 
So one third of something is going to be four. So what Div divided by three equals four? Twelve, good job. So twelve bracelets. Oops, I forgot the E. Hang on. Twelve bracelets. All right, I want you to do number four and five on your own. Cross off number six. And then if you turn the page, okay, to the back of page 490 or 498, I want you to do those six problems, okay? All right, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, so you're doing page 497, numbers four and five and then 498 the whole page, and we'll discuss those tomorrow in the beginning of our math video. Okay, guys? All right, good luck. See you in a little while.